Happy Friday, Centennial Cougars. I'm Dyson Campbell. And I'm Braden Greenwood. Thanks for joining us. This week has been all about Homecoming 2019. We are outside here today for Powder Puff. It's been one of the big events this week. Here's a look at the highlights from all of the rest. Take your mama to the Marriott and belly flop One in the hand, one in the hand One in the hand, one in the bag bubbling Look at the cash, look at the cash bubbling Look at the cash bubbling Hello, I'm Oliver Lampley and I'm here with Powder Puff People And um, what are you guys most excited about to do today? We're excited to see the cheerleaders and to see the seniors, obviously. All right. Um, would you guys recommend people be involved? Yes, I would recommend it because it's super fun and you just have a good time. All right, so like, yes, I would recommend it. If y'all are sophomores about to be juniors, y'all should be a cheerleader. You know, I've done it two years. You know, Ryan's done it two years. Jeremiah's done it two years. It's boring, you know. <laughs> All right. And what what would we say to the people that did not come today? You're stupid because it's fun. You're missing out. You get to leave class. A lot of people have had fun for dress up days this week. We went out and had to talk to a few of them. Hello, Centennial. I'm here today with JD Lux, with Ryan Lampley, and Isaiah Tucker, Bree, Maria, Amanda, Alondra, Kilani, Elsie, and y'all dynamic duo. Yeah. Heck yeah. Okay, okay, so what's going on here? You know, we twin with the okay. yellow, okay. green, black, you know? Okay. I am Lizzie McGuire, and my duo is her best friend, period. That's very cool. Lizzie McGuire vibes very much. Lizzie. Oh my god, here comes my dynamic duo. Oh, she oh. doesn't want to come in, but Lizzie McGuire vibes, period. I mean, you already know the vibes. You feel me? We both dripped out with the do rag, so. Uh, yes. <laughs> we did camo colors. Okay. Yeah. I'm thing one. Okay. Thing two. Okay. What makes you guys do a dynamic? You know, because it's me and him. You feel me? Simple as that. Just dripped out. You feel me? Nah. There's not a whole lot more dynamic than a do-rag, so. Because they've been iconic for years. Period. Childhood vibes, period. And where is that from? Dr. Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss? <laughs> Dr. Seuss? Okay. <laughs> and this is Cat in the Hat. I mean, yeah, you know, uh, cat in the hat. Cat in the yeah, cat in the do rag. <laughs> uh, what did you just step as today? Um, our theme was college, so I'm a frat boy. What did you dress up as? A college student. Um, what did you just up as today? Somebody, mama. You can. You're obviously dressed up as a baby. Yeah. Do you plan on dressing up any other day this week? Yeah, I plan to do it every day. So. Really? Yes. What are your ideas? Uh, for dynamic duo, I think we're gonna do Winnie the Pooh, me and my friends. So that's cool. What are you guys dressed up as? College students. Yeah. So that means you're in 10th grade, right? Yes. yes. <laughs> yep. It's dynamic duo day. <laughs> what are you wearing? We're Mr. and Mrs. Claus. I'm the lion from Wizard of Oz. And I'm Dorothy. <laughs> I helped them pick out their outfits. Yeah. What are you guys? <laughs> um, Mike and Sully from Monsters, Inc. Or whatever, I don't know. Okay, and what are you guys for Dynamic Duo Day? We're s three of the seven dwarves. So. <laughs> and Michael, Michael oh, well, is happy. Yes, Michael is happy. Yeah. Yeah. What's up? What is your name? Roxy McClure. I'm Lexi. And what are you for Dynamic Duo Day? We're, We're twins. twins. Tonight's the big homecoming game. And we need you guys to come out tonight and support the Cougs. 
What's good, guys? What up, Centennial? Welcome it back. It's Friday, and you guys know what that means. It's game day. Game day. Yeah. This game is pretty important. It's homecoming. It's a homecoming game. We play Shelbyville. Game's at 7. Game's but at 7. Homecoming stuff starts 630. at 6.30. Make sure to be there. We'll probably be tailgating like 5.30. Yeah, 5.30 um, tailgate. Yeah. Um, uh, the out for this week is homecoming shirt out. You guys can get homecoming shirts in room 231. That's Ms. Sharpiro's room. Or 214, Miss Evans' room. You already know. So get your gear for the game. Oh yeah, make sure you come out to the game. We need everybody out there because it's A, it's loud, our homecoming loud, game, loud. loud, it's our first day back, oh. and we need everybody to come out and be loud and be supportive. It's a home game. It's a home game and it's our homecoming game. Be so there. we'll see you there. Hey, be there. Or B, square. Dope. <laughs> With the nose guard, Manuel, and Zay Pickens, the linebacker. And is there any highlights from the Dixon County game that stood out? Uh, well, Sebo had a he had an interception, and I had a forced fumble because of me. Zebo got an interception because of me. What about you, Zay? I heard you had a pretty good game offensively. Three touchdowns, but one got called back, so like I only got two. Ten carries, 88 yards. Okay, okay. And what are y'all looking forward to in the Shelbyville game this week? Getting a dub. The win. And, and it's homecoming, so y'all need to come out and support them. All right, I'm here with Christian Blaiso. And would you like to talk about that interception you got against Dixon County? Yeah, man, my man Zay, he forced the uh, quarterback to throw up in the air, and I just snagged that. Highlight me down here. Man, stop Let me playing. Say I'll, I'll, huh? Let me say something. But, but what about the autumn orange jerseys letting you catch it? Man, the guy behind me, he said something. I was like, I ain't going to say that word, but it's okay. And uh, I just caught I just caught that ball. I was trying to run, but I couldn't. <laughs> All right, and what are you looking forward to in the Shelbyville game? Maybe another pick? No, I'm looking for like two sacks, two forced fumbles. Nothing, that's it. <laughs> so no pick? No, that's not going to happen again. <laughs> so that was one and done? Maybe. But come on, you got it, bro. No, not no more. <laughs> All right, thanks. Get ready for an amazing performance in the pack next week. Peter and the star catcher is about to hit the stage. I can't stand in the way of opportunity. Here's to your trip on a ship. So our show is Peter and the star catcher, and it's kind of how Peter Pan became Peter Pan. And like all the influence that he got to create the person that he is. So it's how he got to the island and how he got his name and how he got his magical powers. And it even goes through backstories of um, the captain that he becomes arch nemesis with and kind of all of the factors around him that created Neverland how we know it. Um, so there's not a lot of like set in the show, it's all storytelling and we're using lots of props and there's lots of action, fight scenes. It's really cool. It's like children playing in their attic. They're making up a story as they go. So there's a lot of props that you would see in the house, like in your house, like, I don't know, crutches and ladders. So I play Alf, I get to play a guy. So I'm gonna have a beard. Um, and I'm one of the sailors aboard the Neverland, the ship, and I have to take care of basically Peter at one point, and I'm very rude to him, and then I end up falling in love with Molly Astor's nanny, and it's pretty, it's a wild journey. I play Molly Astor, who is friends with Peter and she's kind of how Peter finds his inspiration to be the Peter Pan that like we know. We are constantly making sure we know our lines, we know the little amount of music that's in the show. And anytime you get you basically have to work on the show because we, we've only had six weeks to prepare it. We've had tons of help and uh, it's hard putting a show together in that short amount of time, but we've been practicing hard and 
We've tried our best. And it's way beyond what we thought it could be. And we're just having so much fun with it. And we're so excited to show it to everybody. Come and see the show. The shows will be on October 3rd, 5th, and 6th. You can buy tickets online for $10 at GoFan.com, or you can get them for $15 at the door. Now for the moment we've all been waiting for, this week's Game Spotlight. This week, we're going to be focusing on Spider-Man. Hello everyone, welcome back to Game Spotlight. Today I am going to be playing Minesweeper. Now the lore of Minesweeper is very interesting. You see in the year 2039, the... Meanwhile at Insomniac Game Studios. Okay. Hey guys, I've got an idea for a new Spider-Man. What? Well, imagine a game where you play Spider-Man, beat up bad guys, and swing around the city. No, it's never been done before, but I can do something new with it. I promise. You know what? So what can you do with this? I can make the web swinging good. You can make the web swing good? Yes. That's a bet. I think we should hire you. You know what? State. You got the job, but you're not going to get the raise. This is my idea. But without the Green Goblin. Hmm. We can make this work. New York City, 2018. Eight years into the routine life of Peter Parker, now Spider-Man. Another day in his Manhattan apartment soon turns into trouble when Peter Parker hears reports of villainy. He goes to investigate, only to find Kingpin causing havoc once again. After a swift infiltration and battle with the Kingpin, Kingpin is defeated and arrested, but not before warning Peter that other villains will come to take his place. Of course, this does happen, beginning the major events of Spider-Man PS4. Super Spider-Man Swing, from building to building in the most open world, realistic recreation of New York City ever. Annihilating random criminals and mob men, mafia men, the men of the mob with stealth and combat combos. In-game, you can unlock new gadgets and suits by progressing through the main story, or by completing side tasks such as catching pigeons, stopping car chases, taking out enemy outposts, finding random backpacks hidden around the city, and taking photos of landmarks. So many Spider-Men ready to all kick villain butt. But remember, the real Spider-Man was the friends we made along the way. Friends like Miles Morales, Mary Jane, Yuri Watanabe, and Black Cat, Felicia Hardy, provide the backup cast, assisting Spider-Man in his borderline vigilante activity. Okay, that was pretty cool. But getting back to Minesweeper as I was saying, in the year 2039... No. Base Tati, please stop talking about Minesweeper. Fine. A great triumph has been achieved. That's all our time for now. Be sure to come out tonight and support the Coons. Mm -hmm.